And when you think of North Korean television, the famous Pink Lady. Or coverage of the three kings looking at various objects. Well, that's not wrong. But there are also films, sports and entertainment programmes. But yes, it's mainly all about the kings. But what about children's television? It's pretty distinctive, so let's have a look. <laughs> North Korean kids get half an hour programming each day on the country's main channel, usually straight after the early evening news. In this slot, you'll see cute kids showing off their considerable talents. Short educational programs, and of course, cartoons. The first thing you'll notice is the violence. This goes way beyond Tom and Jerry. Bad guys get a proper beating and may even end up dead. In this show, a family of rabbits inflict increasingly savage beatings on a villainous wolf and his crow sidekick. There's even a training montage. The context here is important. North Korea is a country still technically at war with its southern neighbour and a UN alliance led by America. Also, Japanese war crimes during the 1910 to 1945 occupation of the Korean Peninsula have not been forgiven nor forgotten in the North and play a significant role in its foundation story. North Korean society runs on the idea of military first self-reliance and these shows, along with everything else on state television, reflect this. They also reflect directions by dear leader Kim Jong-il, whose primary interest during his rise to power was propaganda in the nation's film industry. For children's shows, that means teamwork over individual achievement. And that's why there are so many examples of animal friends defeating literal lone wolves. The animations are the work of the SEK studio, which was founded in 1957. The studio used to provide cheap animation for other foreign production companies, but sanctions put an end to that. Films made over 50 years ago still get regular rotation. They may look dated, but the main themes are still relevant in North Korea. But there are signs that Kim Jong-un once production levels stepped up, the classic serial Young General, based on tales from the first century BC, was recently given a computer animated reboot. This year it marked its 100th episode with fast moving plots featuring a domestic superhero fighting devious and brutal enemies. Similarly impressive animations based on a familiar David and Goliath formula have been popular down the years. But North Korean media is no longer an island. Foreign content regularly makes its way in from outside its borders on DVDs or memory sticks. And faced with this creeping invasion, Korean central television may be struggling to keep the hearts and minds of the young